What up guys, this is Sean, aka Hyrule 1969 coming at you with another how-to video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make some stinky uh, fish bait attraction gel oil stuff. Uh, I don't know, but it seems to work. I've actually tried it a couple times on my lures and it works phenomenal. Uh, I can actually tell when it's starting to wear out and when it's in full power because when it's in full power that's when I start nabbing some big bass when it's not in full power well I'm barely lucky if I get a couple bites so uh, with that being said and this is what we're going to need for some ingredients here I'll show you how to do this Let me focus my camera we go okay main ingredient is going to be Crisco or uh, animal lard that's what you want. Garlic powder, which if you're Italian and you don't have any type of garlic powder in your house, then bullshit, you are not Italian. Uh, next is some coffee and some salt. We also need a cup that I forgot. Haha. <laughs> yeah, check out this cool cup. It's uh, me and my daughter with camouflage on a cup so that's pretty cool alright so let's get this started we're gonna scoop a Crisco into the cup I don't hardly I hardly ever ever cook Crisco so I have absolutely no need for this Crisco here other than what I'm using it for Okay, so now we have, uh, let's, let's say about half of a cup here. We're going to throw that in the microwave. Uh, we're going to go, we're going to go one minute with that. We're going to let that uh, cook for a second. While well, we got that cooking. We're going to uh, continue with our project here. We're going to do, I would say, I don't know, what is that, maybe three tablespoons of uh, coffee grounds there. Yeah, three tablespoons of coffee grounds sounds good. We're going to put in a lot of garlic. Say probably two tablespoons of that. The garlic and the coffee are like two of the most potent, like nastiest smells. I would say maybe go with like just a covering of salt. All right. Now we're gonna grab our cup. We're not just gonna grab the cup because the cup's gonna be hot as hell. So we're gonna use this to grab our cup. So just remember that the cup's gonna be hot. I'm gonna pour all of it in there. Every little bit that you can. This shit's not cheap. Okay, now you're gonna mix it up. Make sure to scoop everything up and around from the bottom. Now the whole entire point of this is uh, for two reasons. Number one is uh, you're masking the smell and the odor of yourself and your lure from the fish. So you're kind of camouflaging that. And the other thing is too is it you know for them they believe it's an actual like uh, tasty treat. Now I've already had some made right here, but I want to fill this up. So. A lot of people say to use a coffee strainer. You could, I guess, but that takes way too long. A lot of other people say to use a paper towel. I'm not really feeling the paper towel thing. I think that that's just 
I don't know, I think it's kind of stupid. I think it takes like way too long. Right, so, set you guys down here. There we go. Got to make sure you're you're still absorbed and whipped in here nicely. Get everything mixed in there good. Okay. Take your paint strainer. So our paint paint strainer here. You're gonna set it above the top of your container right here. I prefer a container with a lid. There we go. Make sure to get all the stuff on the bottom too, really. Because what's on the bottom is the, um, the salt and the garlic. Also, try not to get this stuff on your hand because it stinks. It stinks. It's not like like a nice smell that you think that it would be. Um, you don't want to have like a strong, strong coffee smell. You want to have kind of like a 50-50 smell between the coffee and the garlic. You can see how I squeeze that. There we go. There. Good enough. That's good enough for me. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now what we're going to do. I'm going to put our cover on it. Okay. And we're going to throw it in the freezer. For a little while. Alright, cool. So it's been... Uh, probably like 15 minutes or so. Uh, you don't have to throw it in the freezer. Just put it in your in your um, in your refrigerator is just fine. But the reason why I threw mine in the freezer here is just because I wanted to show you guys that it, you know the way it kind of uh, gels up like this. Uh, it's almost like a very oily, oily gel. Now, one of my favorite lures would be the uh, the swing impact. Swing Impact Fat by, by uh, Kai Tech. Oh my god, do I love these things. I love them, like, so much. That if I was, if I was told to get, take, like, one option, and somebody said to you, um, you're in a life or death situation, you're allowed uh, a string, a hook, and a lure, what would it be? It'd be these right here. These are really nice. I really, really like them. But however, uh, Kitek does make a uh, fantastic lure. Now, what the problem is, is that after a couple tosses, uh, you lose the, the oils that are on them. Uh, it's, it's really hard to, it's really hard to show you guys here. But this is uh, slippery. It does, uh, it does have a smell, the coffee garlic type of smell to it. Here, smell it. Yeah, all right, okay, so you guys smell that. Um, so they are scented. Everybody says, you know, uh, Kytex are the greatest. Uh, their, their swim is just amazing. It's so realistic. It is a really, really good lure. But like I said, the problem is, is that like, I noticed that I'll catch a whole bunch of fish at first, and then afterwards it'll stop, or it'll slow down. Slow down more like it, and this is like you know fishing in areas where I know that there's fish. So what I'll actually do, I actually tested my theory uh, myself. Maybe I'll make a video of it, but I did test my theory myself. Um, and I kept on saying, well, maybe it's because they're scented. Do they have a scent? And blah 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 blah. So what I did was uh, I went fishing, and I started uh, fishing with these uh, actually. It was a real nice sunny day, so I was actually fishing with these. Uh, these are 
the uh, silver shiners. So I started fishing with those at first, and they were really nice, and I was and I was whipping them out of the water. Um, and then it just kind of like started slowing down, and I you know I was maybe catching like one fish every 20 minutes or so. And I was being like a little bit of an impatient person, but I wanted to try this, so I went ahead and I switched. I switched to uh, a different lure, actually the same ones, um, but I found, but you know, they have the the scent on them, so it was a fresher scent. So I started fishing with that, and what do you know? Lo and behold, bam! Within 20 minutes, in the same exact spot, I caught. Um, oh, spider! There we go. Yeah. Anyways, uh, within like a 15 minute period, uh, I caught about three fish. And I believe that it was because, you know, it was scented. Um, you still had its, uh, its oily substance on it that, they, that uh, Kai Tech actually uses. So, uh, are Kai Techs really as good as what people say that they are? Uh, yeah, actually they are. As long as you can uh, keep them fresh, keep them sealed, and keep them together. And, you know, of course, keep them marinated as well. So, when my scent starts to wear out now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stuff right here. And I'm just going to take my, my lure and I'm going to just kind of dip it in there, rub, <clears throat> rub it in a little bit. And this stuff doesn't have to be cold. So if you leave it out in the sun, dip the whole lure and let it marinate for a minute, even better. Even better. Um, you know, when you're, when you're storing it, I wouldn't go leaving it in your tackle box for a real long time, but because it is a very potent, stinky smell. Um, I would take it out of the tackle box and throw it back into your refrigerator. Make sure to throw a lid on it. And uh, definitely definitely uh, put that back in your refrigerator just ever so nicely. So, this is that's why I actually made this video here. And this is why I actually wanted to try this stuff. So, um... I'm probably going to go out tonight, I don't know, right now it's about 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning, but I probably am going to go out tonight, probably around 4.30, 5 o'clock or so, and I want to give it a try. Um, it, this is my fishing bag, by the way. Well, it's not mine, I should say it's my daughter's. My mother bought it for my daughter, and my daughter loves it, but it is huge, and she didn't realize how big it was, so... Um, Mom, thank you very much for the bag. Uh, I actually told my mother that this is this is the one to buy. And it is a great bag, but not for a nine-year-old girl. So, however, I think I'm going to keep this one for myself. Because everything right now is loaded in it. And I'm going to uh, create another bag for Savannah. For my daughter, so. Anywho... So like I said, uh, I am going to try that tonight. Um, if not tonight, then tomorrow, definitely. I want to give that a try, the, the scented stuff there. And I'll run the scented stuff, and I'll have my wife just uh, just fish with a regular regular lure or live bait or, you know, whatever. Uh, any suggestions on uh, videos or fishing vlogs or anything like that, guys, just, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to, to oblige, believe me. I... I've been doing a hell of a lot of fishing lately. I love it. I love it. I mean, it's like something I like the whole entire family actually enjoys to do. So, I mean, it's just say, hey, let's go fishing. Everybody jumps in the jumps in the car and we all go. And usually everything is loaded in the car. So, we'll just jump right out and head out. A lot of times we'll, we'll take our boat out. Um, we have a 14-foot Starcraft. Um, it's, it's actually a pretty pimp boat. I, I actually did the boat a lot. Uh, my wife, my wife, seems to like it a lot they actually gave it to her for mother's day so she's got the boat she's got the trolling motor she's got the oars she's got everything which i'll probably show that in, in another video maybe i'll give you guys a tour of my boat what do you think all right so anyways people peace in the east enjoy fish on rock out and please subscribe find me on facebook twitter all that jazz uh thank you very much guys all right later.